Okay, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck of the deal, this. Y'all should already know who it is by now. It's K Fallon. K Fallon Beats. Let me turn this light on right quick. <laughs> Dark nigga, so let me turn this light on. I don't know what I'm saying, but uh, it's good with y'all, man. I don't know where y'all motherfuckers is at in the world, but I'm out here in Charlotte, and it is cold than a motherfucker. I I've been in the South so long, I ain't built for this cold weather shit no more, bro. I'm, it's cold as a bitch out here, cold as ass on nipple, real shit. But um. In this video, I, um, I got a few jibs to drop on you niggas, but I mainly want to shout out, uh, in this video, I want to shout out, yeah, you know I mean, my clients, people that have book consultations with me, um, because I'm seeing now a lot of the shit that I've put out these past, say, I've been doing this for, about uh, about a year and some change. You know what I'm saying? I, I started going hard at the beginning of this year, putting out these videos and shit. But you know what I'm saying? I want to I want to give a shout out to some um some of my clients that I see had that have taken the information and have went out there and you know is really doing this shit, man. Like niggas is really out here on this shit. You know what I'm saying? So um. One of the niggas I want to shout out is my man. Um, his rap name, I'm gonna go by the name of Climax. Shout out to him, man. That you know what I'm saying. That motherfucker's on his shit. You know what I'm saying. I seen it. I seen a stats nigga post it. Said he was going. He was going to do a show in Atlanta. He was leaving North Carolina to drive to Atlanta, and then had to be to work in the morning. You know what I'm saying. He said he was only gonna get about two three hours of sleep. Was going out there to perform and it's shit like that sacrifices like that man i gotta i gotta salute motherfuckers that that take those risks you know what i'm saying so shout out to you my nigga you know what i'm saying i see you on the book you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying we we bust it up every now and again i see him post something and you know what i mean we'll get into a little convo you know what i'm saying but just want to salute him because he's definitely out here doing his thing um another one my man miami the great Shout out to you, my nigga. I see you. I mean, out there doing your shit. About to, he about to start his LLC. About to start his own label and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a good look because, you know, niggas is out here taking ownership. Instead of just looking for, you know, a regular old record deal. Niggas is actually looking to, to have their own shit. Own their own shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and make the most out of the opportunities they get. So, shout out to you, my nigga. Oh, excuse me. You know what I'm saying? I got to get with you on some shit, but, you know what I'm saying? Uh, your work ethic is 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 definitely commendable. And, and I appreciate it because it lets me know that the shit that I'm telling you niggas is actually sinking in and it's actually working for you niggas. And you niggas is actually going out there and getting the results. And that's my only reason for making these fucking videos. You know, some people might think I do this shit because I want YouTube fame or recognition or I'm trying to get niggas for money. Like, nah, I, I could care less. If you don't spend money with me, that's cool. But as it, I, like I tell you all the time, if you're not going to invest your money with me, invest it somewhere. I don't give a fuck where you invest it at, but take your fucking money and invest it. I don't give a fuck where you do it at, but invest. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to take a loss. Sometimes you're going to spend your money and and get the results that you're looking for or get better results than what you was looking for. But invest your fucking money. That, that, that's the purpose of business. And that's the purpose. And that's the only way you're going to make it, man. You got you to gotta be willing to invest. You know what I'm saying? Another client I want to shout out. And he's been doing this shit for a little bit. He was like, what about, I think he was like, what about first five clients I've, I've had? 
that booked a consultation with me. My man, Clubber Lang, and Joe Clubber, you know what I'm saying? That's a shout out to you, bro. Like, you, you, you're never off your game. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would know if you, you know what I mean, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you would see, like, only time I really post is if um. Cause I don't, I don't really post like that no more. I, I've been um, lately. I've been so focused on this battle shit, which was which is a whole nother fucking story. The shit about yesterday. I know I told y'all niggas I was supposed to go to a battle um, yesterday, but that's a whole nother story. You know what I'm saying I yeah I don't want to go into no rant on that, but anyway, I just see that niggas was raised different. That's all I'm gonna say with that. But shout out to my man Clubber. He, he's always on his shit, man, always promoting, always, you know what I'm saying, doing his shit, you know what I'm saying, so shout out to you, my nigga, Soul Sick Society, you know what I'm saying, niggas is definitely doing their fucking shit, man, niggas is definitely on their fucking job, promoting, getting their brand up, you know what I'm saying, building their fan base up, I love to see shit like that, that's why I make these fucking videos, you feel me, um, another client I want to shout out, I... He's gonna fucking kill me, but I, I, I was looking for the nigga name because he, he he changed his stage name and I forgot what his real name is and I even I even took the the steps of going through my goddamn PayPal receipts to try to find the nigga name, but it's uh, the, I, I, but you know who you are, nigga. I I with this client um, he hit me up. Give me one second. I'm always working, man. I'm always replying to messages and shit. But, um. He'll know who I'm talking about when he sees this video. You know what I'm saying? So drop a comment, my nigga. And you're going to be pissed off at me. But, um. He booked a consultation with me. The crazy thing is, if I, if I remember correctly, I don't even think he used the whole 60 to 90 minutes. I think our consultation was only 30 fucking minutes. He was just like, yo, I got a few questions I need to ask you, blah, 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 blah. And then went on ahead and, and got himself a, a deal with the, with the indie label. That's, um, if I'm not mistaken, they are affiliated and being distributed through Universal. Want to say universal, but um, yeah, man, he he um, he booked the consultation. He went out there, took the advice I gave him, and ended up getting a a, a small, you know, got himself a nice little indie deal. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, even I, I even read over his contract form. You know what I'm saying? He was like, I and, and and here's the thing I want niggas to understand, man. Like when you building your brand, when you build up your name, and people gain a rapport and a respect for you, they respect your opinion, this nigga said, yo, I want you to read this contract for me, look over it, I want your opinion, before I even give it to my lawyer to look at, he said, I want your opinion because I feel what you're saying about how a lot of these lawyers might even try to fuck you over, so he was like, I want to see what you got to say about it because I respect your word, and he's really going to know who I'm talking about because I read it the first time and I was like, Nah, something don't sound right about this. It's something off. And then he was like, "Are you sure?" He was like, "Look back at it." And then I looked, and then I, I had forgot. I had skipped a, a section of the contract, which was the terms, which is probably one of the most important parts in the contract because you want to understand what each term mean and shit. And uh, I had read it wrong, and then I looked over it again. I was like, "All right, you know what? It, it's pretty good." You know what I'm saying? You're not getting fucked over here. You get to keep majority of your shit. You get ownership of your shit. Yeah, you good money. You know what I'm saying? You good money. So, you know what I mean? I want to give a shout out to him. Um, Yeah, man. You going to fucking kill him. This nigga going to inbox. I promise you, this nigga going to inbox me. Like, yo, felon, what the fuck? Nigga, like, how you forget my name? But, you know, I, my mind been elsewhere, man. I'm getting ready to move. I got a lot of plans coming up. Planning on dropping a single on the radio next month. I got a lot of shit to handle out with BMI and ASCAP because me and my nigga done fuck some shit up with paperwork and all. So it's been a little hectic, man. But my nigga, you know who you are and shout out to you, bro. And 
once you give me the name again, once I see the name, I'm remembering, I ain't gonna forget that shit. Um, couple clients I haven't seen, but, you know, I still appreciate them, I know they out there doing their thing, um, the homie Aaron, shout out to you, queen, hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I remember when, when we did the consultation, you said you was getting, um, you know, surgery done, and shit like that, so, you know what I'm saying, hopefully, everything went good, you know what I mean, you made a speedy recovery, and if you took, Aaron, if you took panics class, please tell me how that shit went, I, I just want to know personally, I am, I'm planning to take that shit sometime the next month, or after I move, but, but if you took it, you know what I mean, while you was in recovery, please let me know what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, what that shit's hitting for, you know what I'm saying, because we is definitely discussing that, you know what I'm saying, because I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to take panics class, you know what I'm saying, a lot of y'all niggas wouldn't know about brother panic, but if you do, then you know who I'm talking about, you already know what it's hitting for, but for those of you that don't know about him, research him, that's all I'm going to say there, um, it's another one, um, shout out to my homegirl, because I got a lot of you niggas' numbers on my phone. Shout out to the homegirl, Britt. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the homegirl, Britt. You know what I'm saying? She definitely booked the consultation. Haven't seen much from her, but I'm pretty sure she's out there doing her thing. There, here it go. I, I forgot I got this nigga number in my phone. Capital E, man. Please don't fucking kill me, bro. But I remember you said you was changing your stage name, but yeah, Capital E was the nigga I was just talking about. That, 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 yeah, he's definitely out here doing his thing. Um, Cash and Static, shout out to y'all niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? Producer team out there. Y'all niggas definitely keep doing y'all motherfucking thing. Um, who else we got? Because I got a couple motherfuckers on my phone. Joe, shout out to you, homie. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing your motherfucking thing. Marcus, shout out to you, my nigga. Um, some of them I, I get because a lot of people I get, I had clients from overseas um, I had clients who, who literally, like I said, like Capital E was one of the niggas I had. Somebody else I can't remember, but they booked the consultation. One of them, he booked the consultation. I told him, you get a maximum of 90 minutes. It's a minimum of 60, you get a maximum of 90. This nigga asked me three questions. I think the consultation was like 15, 20 minutes. He's like, I'm cool. I just had a few questions for you. I just wanted to talk to you personally. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, shout out to you. Um... Yeah, and all my clients, man, um, all of my clients, everybody, I got a new number. Some of y'all don't have my new number. So what I'm going to do for y'all is I'm going to send y'all a mass text. I'm going to send a text out to all of y'all, just one group text, just to get y'all my new number so y'all can have it and stay in touch. That's one of the benefits of booking a consultation because I give you my direct, my personal number on my fucked up ass, what is this, a Galaxy? Galaxy S7, my shit's fucking mangled, I done dropped this bitch like three, four times, y'all don't even want to see the back of this motherfucker, but I give you my personal number, and you got direct access to me, you can text me, you know what I'm saying, call me, I ain't gonna just say any time, you know what I'm saying, but you know, the reasonable time or whatever, when motherfuckers call, and you know what I mean, if you got any questions or whatever, I answer them, you text me or whatever, I answer your questions, whatever you got going on, I'm just here to help. You know what I'm saying? That's my goal. Um, so, the one client that I have to give the the the, the ultimate shout out to. You know what I'm saying, let me spark my shit, man. I'm trying to get that shit to the side. Give me a second. Spark my black right quick. Give me a second, folks. The one client. I got to give the ultimate shout out to this nigga has taken the information I gave him. He has took it, ran with it. I literally just did his LLC paperwork two days ago. Literally nigga hit me up was just like, yo, I don't get this shit. What the fuck is like, well, what do I put here? What do I put there? He's like, you know what? Fuck it. Look, look. How much you want the motherfucker just do this paperwork for me? And pay, when, when I say I see why people pay so much fucking money for administration, I see why some labels would get a administration publishing deal, which means you give a, a, a company about 10 to 20% to 
to just handle paperwork for you. This shit is the most... This is the biggest fucking headache, man, is fucking paperwork. You know what I'm saying? It got so bad, I had to call my nigga like, yo, listen, I'm at this part. It ain't letting me do this. What the fuck is good? Da, 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 da. But anyway, um, I got the utmost respect for this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Even though sometimes the nigga is the... Uh, he know what I'm talking about. Like, this nigga, if he got a question or something, uh, like... The, the one thing I love about him, if this nigga got a question, he will hound you for it. He will hound you. I be at work, and this nigga be calling me be like, damn, I can't answer because I'm busy right now. And, you know, I, I I work nights at a restaurant. So anybody that works in a restaurant, I feel you already know shit's crazy. And I'm just like, damn, I forgot to call this nigga. Then he'll text me like, yo, bro, I need to holler at you. This is that and the third. And, and then I'll forget. Then he'll call me again and blah, blah, blah. But... You know what I mean? He's persistent, and that's why I fucks with him, because he goes hard, and he knows what he wants, and he goes and gets it. You know what I'm saying? So my nigga MK, MK so motherfucking fresh. MK so fresh, man. Shout out to you, nigga. Like I said, I just did this nigga paperwork for his LLC, and he even asked me, he was like, yo, how much you gonna charge me to do this paperwork? I said, look, nigga, you good money, you... You know what I mean? You always hit me up. You always got questions. You always look out when you can. You know what I'm saying? This nigga just be like, yo, look, I got I got 20, 30 bucks for you to do this shit right here for me right quick. I don't feel like doing it. My nigga, I'd rather just give you the money. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's not about the money. I, I would do the shit for the nigga for free. But, you know what I mean? The nigga was like, how much you want to for filling out this paperwork? I was like, you know what? Give me 25. Give me a quarter. And I even told my nigga, I was like, he's like, how much you charging to do that? I said, I'm just charging like twenty twenty five because he good money. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to beat him most upside the head. He was like, you know what? Yeah. He's like, you should charge more, but yeah, that, that's good. If that nigga, he's a consistent client, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was like, just give me 25. He was like, you know what? How about I give you 50? I'm like, my nigga. My nigga. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it, it's because he was like, you know, I had 200 budgeted out for this. And he was like, yeah, you know. I know I'm taking time out of your day for you doing this shit, and you had to, you know what I mean, make sure that you was doing it right, you know what I'm saying, because he's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but this nigga got his LLC, he, um, he just signed a distribution deal with Rick Ross Music Group, the real Rick Ross, um, he just signed a fucking distribution deal with them, um, I kind of helped him situate that facilitate that a little bit um you know I, mean, I didn't talk to the you know rick ross music group i didn't talk to them people personally but you know he called me for information like yo what what is this what is that if they want to do this do you think that's a good idea type of shit you know what i'm saying and that's what i'm here for as k felon this is what you get when you, you know what i mean when you fuck with me you know what i'm saying i, I, I help niggas out i help niggas get in the right positions so this nigga got a distribution deal. He just got his LLC done. Um, one of the main things I want to shout him out for, he took my advice on about he took my advice about standing out, took that and ran with it. He went to a music conference, and I think he said, I think it was um, I think it was like Bad Boy, one of their like main marketers. Not mistaken. I, I think that's who it is. You know what I'm saying? I know you won't correct me, MK. So, yeah, but I think it was from Bad Boy. He said, yeah, I mean, my man went up there on the stage. He was talking. He gave his little speech or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then when he got off stage, he said that like 10, 15 niggas done surrounded him. Just trying to take pictures and take selfies with him and all that type of shit. He said after all of that commotion with the, the motherfuckers trying to get selfies and all that shit, he said what he did was. He walked up to him, introduced himself, you know what I'm saying, gave his little spiel or whatever, and gave this nigga a flash drive. Said the nigga took the flash drive, walked up on stage, grabbed the mic, and said, basically something along the lines of, it was 10 or 15 of you niggas that just ran up to me like some groupies. Y'all was groupies. Only thing y'all niggas wanted to do was take a fucking picture for, for social proof, which is good. 
Don't get me wrong. That is that is good marketing. That is good branding. You know what I'm saying? It's good networking. But he said, none of you motherfuckers gave me any music. He said, this nigga came up, just introduced himself and said, here, I got something for you. Just tell me what you think about it. He said, y'all need to follow his fucking lead. This is the, the one of the head marketers of Bad Boy. Going back on stage after the nigga took some of the shit I said in your show. Stand out. Do something that everybody, if you see these niggas over here doing all of this, you see these niggas over here just doing, taking selfies with this nigga, blah, 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 just walk up and introduce yourself. Hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time, bro. That was a great speech up there. Look, I got my EP right here, EPK. I just want you to check it out. Let me know what you think. Now he's talking to this nigga. Now he's in conversations with this nigga. You feel what I'm saying? The nigga fucks with him. You feel me? So I just want to shout those those people out. My clients, um, I know I got more of y'all, so it's a couple, excuse me, it's a couple of y'all that, you know what I'm saying, I did some on Skype, so some of y'all don't have my personal number, I know I got one, a, a couple overseas, if I'm not mistaken, it was one in Canada that I had, um, shout out to you, shout out to, you know, people that, all the producers that bought the, the, um, the contract bundles, I appreciate y'all, I definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Y'all definitely kept food in my goddamn daughter's mouth. Because there come times when money get, a lot of, money get a little tight. And one of you niggas go on ahead and buy a goddamn bundle. And I can buy my daughter some fucking milk. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga asked me. Um, niggas asked me some shit. He, was, uh, he commented and it was like, well, you don't sell beats. You, you focus on other things. You don't focus on selling beats. So that means that you must be making like 20 grand a month. And I'm like, shit, nah, nigga, I ain't there yet. But, you know, my 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 thing I love to do is I love to keep shit 100. I don't like to fake the funk for niggas. I like to keep that shit all the way real with motherfuckers. And I ain't caking in no 20 grand yet. You know what I'm saying? I just started my fucking label. I'm about to move. You know what I'm saying? Money is a little tight, but... You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit in the works. I'm officially, my label bought that Life Records and Small World Publishing, LLC, and my um, my right-hand man, his company, Major Blazes Work. We are now officially distributors. You know what I'm saying? We get major distribution as well as we can give out major distribution. So a lot of you niggas that's looking for distribution, come holler at us. Oh, also my man MK So, MK so Fresh, he just signed a distribution deal with Sony, so shout out to him, you know what I'm saying, just signed that shit with Sony, my nigga, you know what I'm saying, that's definitely a good look, you know what I'm saying, so I I, I just wanted to do this to let y'all know, a lot of motherfuckers, um, a lot of people think that, you know, just because I don't focus on selling beats that I'm caking or whatever, nah, I ain't caking like that yet, but I will be in a minute, trust me, 2017 is a whole nother it's a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta get the fuck moved and get my mind right. But anyway, 2017 is just a different level. Price is gonna stay the same for consultations. I'm not gonna beat y'all niggas upside the head. I want y'all to get this fucking information. Alright? I want y'all to get the information. I tailor make the consultations that y'all book specifically for you. Whatever questions you got, I answer them. Whatever problems you have, I find solutions for them. If you're having a problem with marketing, then I figure out by asking certain questions what it is that you're good at, what is 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 your talent, and, and I figure out a way that you can exploit those talents. Figure out a way that you can take those other talents that you have outside of being a producer, outside of being a rapper or a songwriter or whatever. How can you draw attention to yourself that'll build rapport with people a lot faster? The music is cool. Music speaks for itself when people fuck with you. When people fuck with you and they have some kind of rapport with you. Motherfuckers don't know you. You got to find another way to build rapport with them. So you want to find different avenues to, to gain fans that you probably wouldn't gain any other way. I cook. So don't be surprised if I can bust out with a little recipe book for five bucks. You know what I'm saying? But I'll gain fans in another in another lane that motherfuckers that, that you wouldn't expect. Because there's a lot of motherfuckers that cook, that listen to hip-hop, that listen to R&B, that listen to the type of music that I make. You feel me? So, 
Those are just some ideas for you niggas. Take the talents that you got and use them to your benefit. I'm saying you never know who you're going to come across. None of that shit. You never know who's watching, man. Like, you never know. I get followed by some major fucking people only because I keep shit on hunted. I don't have nothing to hide. I ain't got to sit here in front for you niggas. I am me. This is who I am all day, every motherfucking day. And I'm just here to help you niggas. That's my purpose of doing these fucking videos. It's to help you niggas. So, with that said, I ran my mouth long enough. All my clients that that have book consultations, salute to all y'all. I appreciate y'all, y'all. Anybody that's ever bought anything from me, salute to you. I greatly appreciate you. Hope to continue doing business with you in the future. I have a lot more things coming. I got a Facebook course coming soon. I got a Twitter course coming soon. Even though I ain't really heavy on Twitter, but I'm going to just show y'all niggas a little something how to use Twitter to your advantage and, and get noticed by major people. I get followed by major players in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you never know who's watching. So with that said, let me get the fuck up out of here. All the links is in the fucking description of this video. You can contact me at kfelon86 at gmail.com if you have any questions or if you want to book a consultation. All right? Um... That'd be the main thing. If you want to book a consultation, go ahead, hit me up, kfellan86 at gmail.com. For all the rappers, for all my artists and shit out there, all my rappers, trap niggas, um, if you book a consultation, what I have for you is I would give you music marketing methodologies, my, my marketing promotion audio course for free, and you will also be able to pick your choice of a free beat lease. Um... I would just send you some snippets. I'm still working on my website, right? Well, I'm working on a whole label website right now. So, um, it's another thing I'm focused on. So, if you book a consultation, you will get that music marketing methodologies and you get a free beat lease of your choice. Producers, for those of you that book a consultation, you will get music marketing methodologies as well as if you don't have it already, you will get the contracts bundle included. This is going on up until New Year's. If you already bought the contract bundle and you book a consultation, then you will get the audio course and I will just find something. It'll be something else down the pipe. If I'll put you in a separate folder of clients that bought y'all shit before New Year's and it'll be something else that I'll just give you for free. You know what I'm saying? It might be my YouTube course or, or something, but you will get something for free. I will add something in there for you, all right? So, this is the end of my goddamn video. I want to salute all of you motherfuckers. Everybody that watches my videos, subscribe to my channel, that show me love. I appreciate every last one of you ugly motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I got love for every last one of you ugly motherfuckers. And, except Aaron, she's a pretty young lady. You know what I'm saying? Aaron, yeah. Yes. But anyway, I made the fuck up out of here. I'm gonna finish. Oh, the Panthers are actually fucking winning the game. Ain't that some shit? We finish watching these bum ass Panthers. Hopefully, my bum ass Eagles is is still fucking winning. I made the fuck up out of here. Enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Y'all niggas be easy, man. K Fellin, K Fellin Beats. I'm becoming rappers.net. Small World Publishing LLC. Bought that life records, man. I'm out this bitch.